This is our model 1227. Um, we have three models in the 12 series range. This is the widest, it's 27 inches wide. So as we talked about earlier with the, with the five design criteria, I'm gonna kind of just walk through this machine quickly, point out the, uh, those five design criteria we mentioned, as well as talk about some of the features that are integrated in the 1227 and throughout the, uh, the other uh, products that we have in our Viper series. So first we have the hopper. This is our standard base hopper with what we call a feed funnel on the front. This, this hopper here is designed for hand feed or it could be conveyor fed. But again, know that this hopper is customized um, more often than any other component within the granulator. So again, design criteria number one is the feed hopper. All of our machines uh, from the eight series through the, through the 1736 come fully equipped with full soundproofing. That means the hoppers are double walled and sound insulated and the base uh, and the bases of the machine have a full sound enclosure with access doors on the front and the back. Fully soundproofed all the way through and including the 1736. Part of the hopper mechanism is the gas strut that we use to open the hopper. Actually has a midpoint where you can open the hopper and then take it all the way back. Again, very easy to open and close. There's a gas assist a cylinder, a gas assist cylinder that's, that's integrated into the hopper Again, makes it easy for operators to open and close. So now that we have the, the uh, hopper open, we have full access to the top of the cutting chamber. By using a higher or, or more open area screen in a granulator, it's going to produce higher throughput. It's going to reduce the residence time of the regrind in the machine. When you're, when you're, anytime you're granulating any type of product, you want to be able to feed the material in the machine, grind it up and get it out. And so residence time of the material in the machine is a critical component. With, with more open screen area, that material is going to process faster and it's going to get through the screen and get out of the machine. So it reduces the residence time, reduces the dust, reduces the fines. Screen is easily removable in the machine. And one thing I may have mentioned is that we have 50% rotor diameter of the screen. So if you look at that screen, you could see how um, the rotor completely wraps 50% of this screen. And it's this screen area here that allows the material to flow through very quickly and produce uh, less dust and fines because we're reducing the residence time through the screen. We also have custom, uh, custom screens available um, as far as not only sizes, but also we have um, specially uh, high, high wear type screens available. The rotor itself, this, this happens to be a three blade rotor, which is standard in this machine. Again, no cast components. All, all welded steel, highly polished. Cutting chamber itself. Um, this is, you may recall, I mentioned there's two types of, of cutting chamber geometries. One is a super tangential and the other is a tangential. This one happens to be a super tangential, so designed more for bulky type parts. Might be kind of difficult to see at this angle, but, but the chamber itself has a hardening process. It's called a nitox. It's a special hardened process that we use, and again, standard. Hardened chambers on, on all Vipers from the 6 series all the way up through the 17 series. We have pre-adjustable knives in, in, in our machines and pre-adjustable knives is, is uh, one of the developments I think is, is one, of the, one of the greatest advancements in, in size reduction over, over many years. Pre-adjustable knives allow you to take a spare set of knives um, that have been recently sharpened or a new set for, for that matter that you're planning to put into the granulator and actually set those knives in a fixture outside the machine. So what does that do for you? That reduces the downtime in the machine itself when you're doing a blade change. The, the, uh, the most time um, uh, required during a blade change is the actual knife setting itself. And if you can do that outside of the machine in a fixture with a spare set of knives, you can see how much time you're gonna be able to save when you're doing a blade change. Not only is it, is it faster, but it's also much safer because now your operators or your maintenance uh, technicians aren't reaching inside of a machine to try to adjust knives. It's all done in a fixture sitting on a tool bench. You can see these are the set screws that are used. So when these knives are pulled out of the machine, they're set into a fixture. The fixture is used to actually do the, the, the knife setting itself. You, uh, you tighten your lock screw down on your knife and you just pull these knives out, put your new knives right back in. So it's a very simple process to do. So with the uh, uh, pre-adjustable uh, knives that we provide in these machines, we also include with every machine a full knife setting fixture as standard. What that means is that you're going to get the, the necessary tool or the, uh, the fixture itself to allow you to do these pre-adjustable knives outside the machine. Another point on the, uh, the Viper 
series of machines, including a 1227, is a rotating end disc. This entire end disc here rotates with the rotor on each side of the cutting chamber. What that does is that prevents material from getting pinched between the end of the rotor and the cutting chamber wall and dragging it around. So it helps, to, again, reduce wear within the machine. So we got the hopper, we got the base or the core of the machine. Next is the discharge bin. The screen, as you saw, sat in the screen cradle. The screen cradle raises up and down. The screen's lowered. You have your discharge bin. This particular discharge bin is designed for a blower discharge. Material goes in, blower pulls it out. We can also provide the same bin with a vacuum takeoff type design. All of our machines have easy toolless access for cleaning and maintenance. What that means is you don't have to go grab a wrench to get inside one of our machines. If you need to shut it down, you can shut it down. You can access the machine without having to use a wrench or any type of tool. Very easy, very simple. Um, the hoppers tilt back open and the screen cradles drop down, giving you full access for not only for cleaning, but for also for easy maintenance. Um, one other uh, feature I, I had mentioned is water cooling. You can't see it from the front of the machine, but the water cooling channels are located in the back of the cutting chamber, and the inlet and outlet is on the side of the machine so you can run circulated water through the machine itself. We have a sight glass in the machines that have a, a sound enclosure. That doesn't sound like a big deal, but one of the biggest questions I get from customers, um, oftentimes when they receive a, a machine uh, that doesn't have a sight glass is, I'm not getting very good regrind quality. And of course, the first question I ask is, is the rotor running in the right direction? Well, I can't tell. Well, with the sight class and our machine, you can tell. You can, you can actually get a visual of the belts and you'll know which direction the uh, rotor is turning, as well as being able to do an inspection of your belts right through the sound enclosure viewing window. That's this rotation, uh, this window right here. You can see the arrow is pointed in this direction. So when you turn this machine on, you wanna make sure the belts are going towards the back of the machine or following this arrow, that will, that will verify your rotation. And in addition, you can shine a light through here and you can actually look at the condition of the belts themselves. We use redundant safety switches. We have the highest level of safety available of all granulators. As I mentioned earlier, I just participated in over a two-year process of, of uh, rewriting the safety specifications for granulators so I know how important safety is. Our, our uh, safety switches are electromechanical which means that uh, we use an electrical signal to know when the rotor has stopped, and then there's uh, and then the, uh, with, a, with a mechanical lock within that safety switch. So that provides absolute safety and, and guarantees that uh, the operator or maintenance technician cannot enter the machine while any part of that rotor is still turning. So how does all of this help you? All these features talked about with Viper, and what does this do for you? Well, first of all, high quality regrind that is easy to reprocess with less dust and fines is always gonna be beneficial. The goal here is to process your material as efficiently and as quickly as possible and give you the highest quality regrind quality. And when you look at many of these features, that's what they do for you. You're gonna have fewer rejected parts due to bad regrind. Safe, quiet, and efficient granulation, that's the goal. Gonna, these machines are all easy to maintain as you, as you look at the, the uh, the way they're opened and closed and, and with uh, the smooth surfaces we talked about for cleaning. Very easy to clean. Um, and the bottom line is, is that these machines will give you a greater return on your investment and ultimately more money to the bottom line.